I want to share a micro SaaS success story from frustration to 30k in profit and how they turned their frustration into a business in just three days. In just one week, they generated an impressive $6,000 in profits, which grew to 30K of mostly passive income. So I'm gonna share this story here as I think it's super inspirational and there are a lot of lessons to learn from it. And so it started off with a problem when they were trying to get a visa for country X. After filling out the application, the next step was to book an appointment and to the frustration, there were no available slots. After searching on social media, they discovered there were only 50 slots released every day at 12 p.m. with over 1,000 people trying to secure them. There's even tutorials on how to maximize your chances by clicking at the right time. It became clear that there was a problem that was screaming for a solution. So there was two of them, a project manager and a software developer, and they started by studying all the tutorials, conducting trial and error, and eventually they discovered an optimal strategy. Solving a CAPTCHA after the slots were released, which varied randomly between 12 and 12 and 10 seconds, so a really tight time window there, and clicking on the date as quickly as possible. If they clicked fast enough and no one else had chosen the same slot, they would secure an appointment. So to maximize their chances, they developed a simple script that queried the API for time slots every second. And this approach worked flawlessly for both of them and a few friends. So next, they wanted to validate the idea to make sure that other people actually wanted it. They realized people were willing to pay for the service. And as an experiment, they created a landing page with a form to collect necessary information and set the price at $200. And within 12 hours, they had their first two sign-ups. But the MVP was still very manual as this founder had to anxiously sit in front of the computer waiting for the clock to tick and it gave the business with an uncertain chance of making $200 on some days and it wasn't sustainable. And so they automated the entire process. Since the website was a single page app, they realized they could use the same booking data to recreate the API call when the slots were released and they could scale it up to handle multiple bookings simultaneously. And even better yet, they had 10 additional signups for the weekend. And so three days after their product was working, and they had achieved significant revenue on the third day. Their customers were also delighted. Many of them had been struggling to secure a visa for weeks, and they even shared their success stories and referred them to friends, and then their inbox exploded with inquiries. And so their takeaway here was that when you build something, people truly need traction will follow. When they did a comparison to their competitors in this niche, there were other people only serving one customer a day and charging exorbitant prices, for example, $2,000, and they also demanded deposits for an unreliable service. There's also scammers in this niche, so they really had a technical monopoly at this point. After that, they wanted to try some scales. They tried some paid advertisement here, that they did realize there was a trust barrier. And so they designed their pricing to pay after you're satisfied. One of the growth strategies was actually to offer this service for free for people 60 plus. And then the seniors actually referred them to family and friends. This created positive word of mouth here. And they made $6,000 in profit in their first week. Sadly though, their technology monopoly didn't last very long. But with another competitor, things got way more competitive to get customers. They started driving prices up. There's only so many limited slots you can have. And so at this point, they're at a dilemma. What should they do? The first instinct was to open source everything. They also considered making the service entirely free since the marginal cost was practically zero. However, people did prefer to pay as they associated the price with the trustworthiness. The price was too low. It must be a scam. They also looked at exiting the business, but they realized it was a short-term opportunity. So ultimately, they made the decision to retain the technology to themselves, but lower the prices to help more people. They then automated the entire process to create a form of passive income, and they ran the code on a dedicated 24-7 monitor for new openings and periodically load new customer data from the database. So in conclusion, at this post here, after three months, the situation improved, and most people planning to travel during the summer had obtained their visas. At this point, they made the choice to shut down their operations and embark on the next chapter of their journey. So some of their main valuable lessons were about solving problems, staying true to their mission, and the power of creating positive change. Definitely a cool story here, and they ended up making quite a bit of money in a short amount of time. So they took something that they had really experienced as a problem, and they ended up turning it into a product. Definitely a cool story here. Let me know in the comments what you think of it, and if you experienced any huge frustrations in your life that might be turned into an MVP or a product as well. If you've gotten this far in the video, I can assume you're looking at maybe starting your own micro SaaS. To start, you need an idea. There's a link in the description below where you can get sneaky micro SaaS ideas you can steal for completely free. All you need to do is enter in your email address. So again, there's a link in the description and I'll also leave it as a pinned comment. So this is going to conclude the video here. If you enjoyed it, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. I'm coming up with new SaaS and micro SaaS videos all the time so you don't want to miss out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.